This is when it really hits home. Kickoff time is almost upon us. A colossal game featuring two teams that truly deserve to be on the big stage. We know they can deliver, but will they do it with the pressure on and when it matters most? Follow every twist and turn right here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Estadio do Dragao. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary. Delighted to be joined by Sue Smith. Hello, welcome back to Armchair Armory. And we return to Champions League action on Wednesday. Our first leg at Porto in Porto. Um, it's been a long time since I've said that. It's been a long time since I've said that in any sort of public domain at all. Um, Arsenal in the knockout stages of the Champions League. I think we've got a very good chance uh, because I couldn't watch the game live. Um, I had to listen to it on the radio. We've obviously just come off the back of another huge win. Um, over We beat Burnley 5-0 on Saturday. And uh, yeah, from what I saw, the very limited highlights that I saw, it looked like it was a very good performance. And from the feedback I've seen from around social media and stuff like that, it sounds like it was a, a very good performance. So I think it's uh, good to come off of two big wins going into this game I think to be honest along with I don't know I don't know where we're going to end up this season Premier League wise you know I think we're right in the title race now after kind of winning four four in a row I think it's four in a row that we've won I can't remember whether it's four in a row four in a row or five in a row um so it's one two Three, four, five. Yeah, it's five in a row. So, so, so winning. So, since winning five in a row, um, we're definitely now back in the title race. Two points behind Liverpool. Uh, uh, City dropped points against Chelsea on the evening kickoff on Saturday. Um, unfortunately, Liverpool beat Brentford four-one. Um, so, yeah, we're we're right up there in it, and we just. I think it's going to be a very very interesting run in um, at the end of the season come sort of like March, April, it's going to be an interesting running because I think at the moment there are three teams in it and, you know, City are City. I think we're looking to bounce back after um, after the kind of disappointment of last season. I think we're slowly but surely now kicking into gear, which is good. Um, and then you've got Liverpool who are obviously playing for Klopp's last, last hurrah before he leaves at the end of the season. So it's going to be interesting. So I don't know where that's going to go. I, I've said consistently a few times now that I don't necessarily think we're going to win the league. I don't think just because we came second last year that we're going to this year, especially with the way Liverpool are playing at the moment. Um, so therefore, the Champions League becomes hugely important. And so far, Arteta hasn't done very well in the cup competitions. You know, we've been out in early stages of the of the League Cup. We've been out in, of early, in, in the early stages of the FA Cup a couple of times. We've gone out now uh, three times, twice in the round of 16, I believe, and then um, and in the semi-final, I think we went out um, in the Europa League. So this is a big test for Arteta as well. Not only is it sort of the biggest European competition, but it's also a, a test of his um, his stature in cup competitions. And I think you know we've we've got to try to get as far as we can in this in in this competition. I don't again, I don't think we're going to win it because. There's teams like City and Real Madrid and Bayern Munich that are still in it. And I think um, if we came up against Real Madrid, for example, it wouldn't be like 2005 where, uh, or 2006, sorry, when um, when we had the team that we had when we got to the final against Barcelona. Um, but I think getting past Porto is probably the minimum that we should be doing. You know, if we can get part, if we can get into the quarterfinals and get past that, that's a bonus. But at this stage, we should be getting past Porto. You know, um, they're not an easy team because obviously they wouldn't be a Champions League team if they were. But they are. They, I'd say it's a win. It's a winnable tie, definitely. I think it's going to be hard. This game is probably going to be harder than the game at the Emirates. And um, if it ends the way that this sim that you're watching ends then yeah we've got not a cat in hell's chance i don't know what was going on but you know uh it's a further argument to why ea sports football games are um scripted in some in some cases 
or that or maybe that or i'm just shit at fifa but anyway yeah i think um i think we've got a good chance on paper we're probably the better team um but i know that any away day in europe is always hard uh, regardless of where you go we found that out when we went to sport in lisbon last season in the europa league so um we can't take the team lightly um but i do think that we will just about edge it i think unfortunately we probably will concede because we seem to always concede away in the in the champions league um so yeah i will i i think we will probably concede a goal and i'm going to say 2-1 arsenal as my prediction um things seem to be looking up it's kind of interesting how you know how quickly two months makes a difference you know uh, around christmas going into new year we were heading into 2024 with a with a minority of the fan base uh saying that the manager should go and now things are looking up i mean who knows where we're going to go but yeah it's positive at the moment but i think this one's really important i think we have to get through this tie um to kind of show that we're that we're back on the scene so to speak so yeah 2-1 is my prediction um i'm not gonna talk more about what's been going on because obviously i didn't watch the burnley game but yeah it'd be interesting to also see who arteta puts uh starts in that game as well um you know we hear that uh, gabriel jesus might be back um soon but i don't know if it'll be soon enough for wednesday we hear thomas Partey might be back but again i don't know if that will be soon i think to be honest thomas Partey looks like he's probably going to be phased out and sold in the summer um but yeah again it will be interesting but i still think we'll do it 2-1 is my prediction Right, I'm going to leave it there. I will be back again after the game on Wednesday. So until then, take care and stay safe. Here's Zinchenko. Martinelli. Picked out nicely. And that's where it ends with possession lost. Odegaard. And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Porto. Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. He's causing problems. Yeah, I think he's had a really good first half. Not only his goal, which he took well, but his overall performance. I'm sure he'll look to continue that in the second half. game restarts Jorginho played to Martinelli oh a great chance and that's a corner so it could be a chance for Arsenal to level things Played in now. Well, not quite fully away here. Rice. Trying his luck. And the keeper more than equal to it. They're not getting close enough here. Well, a bit of a clumsy challenge, and the ref blows for a free kick. And the defence ready for what was coming. Taremi, crucial defending. A corner to come then, and an opportunity to extend this lead. Corner is fired in, and that's not properly away yet.
Players waiting in the centre. Breaking at pace, this could be dangerous. Steven Eustachio. Oh, not a bad try at all. Well, that's unlucky. It's not far away, but they'll be hoping that they don't rue these missed opportunities. Kai Havertz. Taremi. Oh, that's fabulous from the goalkeeper. Yeah, it is. What a fantastic save that is. He shows great power and agility to get to it. Certainly one for the show reel. It's put into the middle. And they've scored again. That puts them further in front. What a position to be in. Well, here it is again, and it's a good delivery in from the corner. And then what a great finish as well. It's a good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a fantastic goal. So away we go again at 2-0 now. Using his body well to keep the ball. Arsenal with wit here. And the promise of something happening is over. Oh, good ball in behind. This has to be. Still problems for them here. Oh, that's been won really smartly. Goes on past the defender. Terebi. The goalkeeper more than ready for it. Been delivered. Well, the danger's still there. And a really good bit of goalkeeping to keep that out. Bit of a squeeze on here. Eddie and Ketia. Given away by Arsenal. Pepe. Takes the shot. And there's his second of the match. Leading the way for the team. Well, we can have another look at this. It's a brilliant strike. He makes great contact with the ball. And the goalkeeper just watches it fly past him. And away we go again. 3-0 now. Really nicely played. What can they do with this now? In the right position to cut out the pass. Marco Grujic. Need to get tighter here. Can he finish? And another! Ball to the good now. Any ideas of this being a contest surely over? Well, this is a neat and tidy finish. His movement is great. He finds a yard of space and then it's so composed. Martin Odegaard. Eddie and Ketia. Oh, crucial tackle to deal with the danger. That looks like a good advantage played. Read the pass well and cuts it out. And that's that. The flag's up. William Saliba. Played to Gabriel. 
Pass was red and the ball has changed hands. Galeno. He'll take this on. Well, it turned out to be fairly routine for the keeper. He'll happily collect that. Pepe. They're not getting close enough here. The referee points to the spot. Penalty. It's going to be a booking as well. Yeah, it had to be. Poor decision. He'll know that. Up he steps to settle this. And they have paid the penalty. It's been dispatched. Well, you can watch it again here. This takes a lot of confidence to do. It's just a little dig straight down the middle. And all the goalkeeper can do is just... And there goes the final whistle with Arsenal beaten. Sue, your thoughts on the game? They'll be so disappointed to lose this. I thought they were the better side. Deserved at least something from the game, but it just wasn't to be. Well, he has put in a truly magnificent performance today. Nigh on unplayable. What are your thoughts, Sue? Well, he was a constant threat, either playing on the shoulder or looking to drop into space. His movement was so clever, got himself into great goal-scoring positions. Bag two, could have had more.